Hello YouTube friends. Anyways, I wanted to do a quick meal prep idea because, you know, I'm a lean mean 275 drinking machine. So, I'm going to make a barbacoa beef chuck roast. Anyways, hey listen, 96% of you watching this video are not subscribed to my YouTube channel. barbacoa beef. Normally I'd like to do this on the big green egg in my Lodge cast iron Dutch oven, but it's pretty crappy out today, so we're just going to do it inside on the regular Dutch oven. This is a pretty easy recipe. Tons of flavor. Uh, I just got from Publix. This is a 2.6 pound chuck roast. Um, we're going to brown it, sear it in the cast iron on both sides, get a real nice crust. And then I'm going to pop it in the oven at 275 for about two and a half hours. We'll check it at that point. If it shreds nicely, then it'll be good to go. The sauce we're going to make for braising this meat is I got two cans of chipotle peppers and adobo sauce. Now, I could have gone to the Latino market and got dried chilies and roasted them and then shelled it, seeded them and then blended them. This is a lot easier. I'm trying to watch football today and uh, you know it's quick we're also going to do a little sea salt cayenne that's also cayenne cumin paprika and chili powder uh, i'm gonna just kind of go a pinch or so of each just to get some color and flavor the oven is on hot or the pan is on high and i just want to get some brown black color on the outside of these shells and soften up the garlic inside and then just to give you an idea on the amount of seasoning I put in, so the two cans of, of chilies with adobo sauce, it's already seasoned, so I don't need a ton more extra. But as you can see, we've got some paprika, some uh, cayenne pepper, some chili powder, some cumin, and then a, tape, a teaspoon of salt as well. So just about a teaspoon each, and we're gonna go ahead and blend this up. All right, I was able to grab the garlic husks with my spatula here, excuse me, my tongs, and it's softer and definitely cooked through, so we're gonna go ahead and add that to our blender and go ahead and run this guy one more time. Oil's hot. We got our salt and pepper chuck roast, and we're just gonna sear both sides, get some brown. Once the first side's done searing, I'm gonna flip it over, pour our adobo sauce all over the top, add in two bay leaves, and then let the bottom sear and pop it in the oven, 275. We'll check it in two and a half hours. All right, so it's been about three minutes on the first side, flipped over, adobo sauce, bay leaves, Three minutes on this side. We're gonna go ahead and kill our heat. Throw the cover on. And uh, we're gonna pop in here for two and a half hours and we'll see what she looks like. See you then. So the timer went off, it's been two and a half hours. I actually turned it off and let it sit in here another 30 minutes. Let's take a peek. really hot but damn it looks good so I'm gonna go ahead and shred this up nice and thin and uh, you know that right there is gonna be taco meat or burrito meat or mix it with your eggs or whatever this week shredding it up gonna go ahead and pop that in the fridge and uh, Get to go for meals all week. Barbacoa beef, eggs over toast. That's 
a hell of a way to start the new work year. Give this recipe a try, it's awesome on everything. Music